on, baby. Give me the show. He, I don't think he got no oxygen, man. Take me to the show! Is that the guy? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't die. So, one of three things is going to happen. This is going to fail miserably and do nothing. It's going to work perfectly. Or this is going to be the new hot trend in trailer parks across America. I know what you're thinking. This looks like a big pile of and I can't disagree. But, last time we had this tube hooked directly to this tube. But the problem with that is, the exhaust goes counter direction to the compressor, stalls it, and the turbo doesn't spin. So, we rigged up a wastegate, and then I thought about it. I'm like, man, if the wastegate's blocking and the only thing that the compressor can compress is a one foot long piece of two inch tube, that's not a lot of energy. That's not gonna help us a whole lot. So, how do we get more energy? Well, we store more air. And how do you store more air? You go steal somebody's air tank and you weld tubes to it and now, conceivably, the compressor will fill the air tank up, will watch the gauge, go, holy cow, it's really high in pressure. Let off the gas. And in theory, if this gets up to like 20 PSI, they let off the gas on the truck. This should open and allow the difference between 5 PSI and 20 PSI, which is 15 PSI, shoot back through this. And if, in theory, if everything's working correctly, we'll see this gauge show positive pressure in the combustor when he lifts the throttle. That's the theory. There's no guarantee that that's gonna work because we've really done this wrong about four times already, so what's the vibe? It's the most promising it's ever been. Hold it pretty good up there for a minute. It'll just bounce off a of minute. So, <clears throat> in pure fuckery fashion, <laughs> we've determined hey, that the afterburner pants. part of the exhaust tip that introduces fresh air to cool the tip is bleeding just off our tip. pressure. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Patty's gonna go under there and we're gonna use a very sophisticated method to seal that off, which is Gorilla Tape. So that's not to be confused with duct tape, because gorillas are stronger than ducks. Now put it to the floor. Okay. All right. So the current problem. Last night. We worked on trying to spool the turbo up and we were getting a bunch of reversion. So we put the air tank in there and the waste in the wastegate used as a bypass valve to kind of hope, hoping that the turbo would just fill up the tank with boost. Um, and we were also worried that the, the shop truck with the little pinche 4.2 liter could, just didn't have the huevos to fill, to spool the turbo to fill the tank. So, I have donated my brand new 2020 GMC diesel to spooling the turbo. If this can't spool that turbo, nothing can. So we whipped up a super bootleg five inch to two and a half adapter, and we gave the old diesel the beans, and we had ridiculously bad compressor surge. So, we disconnected the turbo from the air tank because we're like, okay, is exhaust gas leaking past the wastegate or is it not? What's going on? So as soon as we disconnected that, it puts tons of air pressure out of the compressor side. As soon as I like cover it with my hand, immediate compressor surge. So what we've learned is the turbo hates to be deadheaded. It wants flow. So the next thought is if the turbo wants some flow, let's go ahead, 
pull the wastegate apart, put a cheap set of clamps on the shaft, and then that way I could stand there at risk of mortal peril and move the valve in and out while monitoring the pressure gauges and see if there's some kind of balancing point we can find where we can get the turbine to go and also start to build boost in the tank. So here goes nothing. Hello? Hey man, the boost is stuck. Excuse me. Uh, my I think this turbo's defective. You got all shit. Where's your motherfucking boost? Damn. Damn. We got the Husker Du hooked up. Who was no boost? Who was that? That's our fool. No gas ain't on. What the kind of show is this? Come on, motherfucker. Why are you being all timid, man? I'm Get not, it up in there. I'm just, I got pretty. Dude, trust me, it's in there. Get Mine's in there. Just fucking four feet off the no, thank you. Come on, baby, light up! <laughs> Come on, baby, give I me the show. He, I don't think he got no oxygen, man. Take me to the show! Is that the game? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't die. There was a big epic fireball, but we think we know what happened. We think we filled the exhaust on the truck with propane, and then did the stupidest thing imaginable. Started it with the fire in front of it. So last night, we almost blew Patty up, but he's okay. And we kind of fiddled around with some stuff and we were able to get a bunch of fire out of the hole that we used to kind of ignite it. But there's a big flaw to drilling a hole in the side of a combustion chamber and trying to get combustion. And that is that when the air is escaping the hole, it combusts outside of the hole, not in it. So we got a diesel truck glow plug. And what we're going to do is do an experiment outside with the propane. We're going to just basically hook this up to a power supply and make it glow. And then turn on the propane tank and stick it in front and see if it lights it. I think that's safe, or not. It ignites! So we were thoroughly underwhelmed with the propane. So in an effort to go full send, we're going back to the gasoline. And the gasoline previously shot fire about eight feet out of the end of the combustor. So there's a really good chance that this is going to be a lot of fire. So we've actually covered the back of the truck with the fire blanket. And we're all a little extra nervous. But if this doesn't give us enough energy, then we're really, really going to be scratching our heads. Day five of testing out the combustor. Last night, the thought process was we needed to work on pressure differentials, so we're going to port the 
inlet side of the combustor a little bit to port it to, to the exhaust gas pressure. And then we are going to put a fuel injector in it that we can meter the fuel better and atomize it better. So we think we had a little bit too much fuel and there was no way to turn the fuel down the way we had it before. So we're gonna actually stick a regular fuel injector in it. So I've kind of cut up a piece of shitty tubing and welded it in there and made a quick temporary harness for an injector. So now we can pulse width modulate the, the injector conceivably and put different size injectors in it. The big downside that we have is we're not injecting the fuel directly into the combustor chamber per se. It's gonna be into the entire unit, which is in the long run would be super sucky because it would just melt the damn thing. But at the point we're at now, we have to figure out roughly what kind of fuel flow we need to be able to make the beta module and we don't know so that's what this test is for tonight is to try and see if we can't get some kind of an idea of roughly what fuel flow we need so that when we do build the next version we can have it set up to fuel correctly. So the, the combustor project is going to end up having to go on hold. We learned a ton, found out a lot of cool things about how that works, and it really opened my eyes to a lot of the technology. I'm really excited to continue working on it, but unfortunately we need to get the car ready for the Pikes Peak Hill climb, and I was just seeing that it was going to take far too much development to get that where we would want it. and. We have too much other things going on to be able to get it done in time to take it to the mountain. So I definitely want to continue experimenting with it. I really think we've got a good handle on what direction we would go to from here, but we just don't have the time to devote to completing it. So keep an eye out. We'll definitely have some more on it in the future and uh, we will make it work. Don't forget to click like and subscribe so you can catch more of our videos. We will continue to show you cool things and stuff we're experimenting with. Uh, we've got a really, really interesting turbo setup that we're about to do on the Camaro and we'll make sure to do videos for you guys on what it is, why we're doing it, and how we plan on making it work because it essentially is the plan B for the combustor.